Hi Peggy and Tony, I'm here at 4640 Melody Drive, apartment B in Concord. This is two bedrooms, two bath, 918 square feet, uh, listed at 389,000, so uh, on the higher end of the budget. Um, based on uh, the square feet, it is smaller, uh, under 1,000 feels as such inside, but uh, it is well kept. Um, so here we are outside. I'll just walk uh, around the corner here. So well-kept common areas, uh, and this street seems to be okay. Um, you know, this unit is facing the street. It is on the first floor, though, so no stairs. Um, so you will hear some cars coming through here because, again, facing the street. I imagine that... Um, It'll just most likely be around commute hours when people are leaving for work and coming home. Uh, all right, so let's go in the unit. Uh, I will share that uh, they did receive an offer for this one, uh, but um, the agent said the owner was not happy with the term. So they are keeping it on the market and having another round of open houses. All right, so we have here, uh, again, a very small living area, family room, um, combo, uh, most of the townhouse, townhouse and condos are going to be the same situation. Uh, this uh, is uh, the dining area. And then a very narrow galley kitchen. Um, so it has been updated. Uh, the tenant, or I'm sorry, the owner lives here. So um, this is not staged. It's their um, own furniture. All right, and then we have um, all hard surface flooring. Uh, there's this, um, uh, I believe, engineered hardwood here, and then uh, tile in the bathrooms in the kitchen. Uh, here is your washer, and then on the other side here, the dryer, so it is in unit. Uh, the one nice thing about this particular unit is that it actually has the connected garage. So, um, here we have enough room for one car. Um, this is actually not that common to have a uh, attached garage uh, for a condo. So that is an added plus, and I think that is reflected in the price. That's one of the reasons. Okay, so there we have the garage, and then we'll have um, bedroom number one here. Good size bedroom. I would say that based on the square footage, um, you know, the rooms are optimized, uh, sorry, the bedrooms versus the, uh, the living area. Here's bathroom number one, recently updated with the tile and the granite uh, countertops. Nice door, all glass. And then uh, the master bedroom. So good amount of closet space here. Um, I didn't open the closet in the front. Um, not as much storage as that uh, last property from yesterday in the Terrace Village, one that's still available. And the master has access to the patio, which I'll go to next. And then a nice, uh, you know, kind of powder room. Powder room feel, even though the sinks, double sinks are out here. And then uh, the shower. So again, same updates uh, on the flooring, at least. The shower stall hasn't been upgraded. Um, but a good sized master bedroom and bathroom. All right, so then we'll take a look at outside. Good amount of space in the pet outdoor patio area. Uh, and the ground floor um, units are always gonna have more more space. So look at all this. Really good amount. So we don't have a key, but I believe this is storage. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to have a barbecue since there is this open area here so that um, smoke can go up versus get trapped. Usually that's why it's prohibited is it gets trapped underneath the overhang. Okay, uh, so let's see. 
I didn't open this closet door. So not that much storage in this uh, unit, especially, again, compared to the um, Terrace Village uh, unit where there were, gosh, I think like six different closets or more than that. So that's one thing lacking here. And it's just the overall square footage and storage, but it has the garage. And what you're looking for in terms of uh, the hard surface flooring in unit, uh, laundry, and no stairs. Okay. Let me know if you're interested, and then we can schedule something for Monday. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks, Tony.